It was kind of neat to show it right down here, the Gamaka. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of composing in motion, part 14, sync. In today's episode, we re-entered working on our um, three versions of the 44 phrase composition. We wondered if the original and compressed might turn out to have the exact same length after synchronization, and we confirmed that. Um, we also uh, compared our expanded version with the compressed and the standalone, and they are not exactly two to one or one to two. They are, interestingly enough, seven to three, which you could say is like whatever that is. And that's because <clears throat> the component phrases add up a little differently. So what we did today is we synchronized all three versions. They are now labeled uh, with the same arcs and sub arcs. Uh, we went ahead and added a percussion line as a beat over here. This, this. Uh, we replaced the pauses with bars like here so that the timing could synchronize and we cleaned up our notation. So now we have um, dotted halves instead of three tied quarter notes and so forth. Um, the fun part is we added a new line, the bassoon, that we're calling pushes, where the bassoon comes in and adds oomph at certain selected locations. And then we also uh, were able to successfully do what we call a gamaka, which is when you have two low notes in a row the same note repeated, we try to find one here for you, then you give a little push up oomph to the second note. Here, C. Let's see if we could solo that. If we could solo that, it would sound like this. There it is. Da, bra, da, which is a figure from Carnatic music. So that was kind of cool. We also experimented with different timbres. In addition to having the bassoon here, we tried, oh my God, clarinet, flute, all kind of stuff up here where it says change. Nothing satisfied. We even tried the electronic instruments, like a sweep synthesizer, which has a very slow attack. So there's more to do there. So what we're going to do is play this updated expanded version for you and that'll bring us home so here we go
So what we like about it is adding that whole new line and, and working out a rule of thumb for where to put the bassoon and where to leave it out, which, and, and we ended up calling it a push, push part. It tends to always go from the lowest C in the D and um, added the push gamaka. So that ends today's stream. Our ideas for next time are to look more at the timbres and the figures and the hooks. We also want to um, look at um, adjust the uh, arpeggiation directions to complement the backbone more. At the moment, it's kind of plinkety, plinkety, plinkety. Everything is what we call ramp up, you know, lowest note to middle note to highest note. But everywhere where it says different, that means the backbone is not the first note. It's like here. So we've experimented with that before. Acknowledgements and shout outs to uh, Bielsa Possession and SOSAS SOS. Thank you for stopping by. And um, we always appreciate that. So tune in next time to see what happens next. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.